When you throw something in the air, gravity pulls it down. The faster you throw it, the higher it goes, and the longer it takes to come back down. If you could throw something fast enough, more than 7 miles per second, it would never come back down. This speed is the Earth's escape velocity. It's the speed that rockets must surpass to break away from the Earth's gravity and head for space. But what if we don't want an object to head for space? What if we want it to stay in orbit the Earth, like a satellite? Then we need it to maintain orbital velocity while moving perpendicular to the Earth. What the orbital velocity is depends on the object's distance from the Earth. The closer the object, the faster the orbital velocity. For comparison, let's look at the Moon and the International Space Station, both in orbit around the Earth. The Moon, 240,000 miles from the Earth, needs to travel 2,000 miles per hour to remain in orbit. The International Space Station, being much closer at only 180 miles above the Earth's surface, needs to travel at a much greater speed to remain in orbit, 17,000 miles per hour. And it's the same with other moons orbiting other planets. Jupiter's moon Io is closer than its moon Europa, and so Io travels around Jupiter at a faster speed. It's also the same case with the planets orbiting the Sun. The closer the planet, the faster it travels. Since Mercury is the closest planet to the Sun, it is also the fastest. And it is true of everything else in the universe that is in orbit. This is because it is based on Isaac Newton's universal law of gravitation.